Let me preface this video upfront by saying that all cruise lines have created comprehensive plans to navigate healthy and safe cruising in a post-COVID world, but one cruise line stands out. I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy, and as always, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. Looking back to the start of 2020, Princess Cruises was one of the first major cruise lines to suspend cruising. They made that decision on March 12th, and all voyages that were underway were suspended immediately, while all future voyages were cancelled outright. It was a massive decision that was made in response to the growing threat of the virus and came in the wake of noted events such as those on board the Diamond Princess and Ruby Princess. For a while there, it seemed that Princess really couldn't catch a break and they were at the very center of a media storm that tried to paint the picture that cruising was the very epicenter of COVID. As we know now in retrospect, Princess's early decision to suspend cruising was equaled by other cruise lines around the world as one by one they all began to acquiesce to the climate and cruising as we knew it was over. For the first time in history, cruising ground to a halt. Specifically referring to cruising, the rest of 2020 was a blur of moving dates and policy changes. Cruise lines tried to strike the balance between getting back to work and dealing with a society that was riddled with COVID. Dates came and went, and cruise suspensions continued to be extended from one month to the next and even beyond. It's now almost 12 months since Princess made the call to cancel cruising and at present, they're hoping to return to service in May this year. Many avid cruisers are wondering how that will be possible and what cruising will look like, and this is where I think Princess are the cruise line with the most potential to successfully restart in a post-COVID world, and it all comes down to technology. If you don't know, Ocean Medallion technology completely changes the passenger experience both off and on board ships. This tiny little device requires no power and no recharging, but offers a full array of benefits to the user. Essentially, the medallion replaces the classic cruise card and can be used for onboard purchases, scanning off and on the ship in port, and the touchless unlocking of your stateroom door. Much more than that though, when paired with the Ocean Medallion app, or for those that prefer not to carry a phone with them, the centrally located touchscreens, the medallion becomes your gateway to a convenient and socially distanced cruising experience. Let me explain. With the app loaded on your phone, you can place an order for a drink or for a snack and have it brought to your exact location. Fancy something from the shops of Princess? You can also use the app to make your purchase and once again, the item will be delivered directly to you, whether in your stateroom or out and about. If casino gaming is more your scene, well, you can do that via the app too. Yes, for real money. The benefit of this system is clear. No more queuing. It's no surprise to any of us that when cruising returns, it won't necessarily be as we remembered it, at least at the beginning, but will likely be a reflection of life on land in terms of socially distanced fun. Interested in an event or show on board? Simply register your intent to attend via the app and you'll have a reserved spot. If you haven't registered, you'll be able to see venue capacity information at a glance, letting you know if there's space for you or not. Embarkation will also be a breeze. Up until now, only US residents were sent their Ocean Medallion prior to departure, but Princess are endeavoring to send their personally engraved Ocean Medallions to each of their guests before departure as well. This means that the check-in process will be completed by each guest via the Ocean Medallion app. Simply upload your identity documents, complete the digital health questionnaire, and arrive at the port at your pre-reserved boarding time. With medallion in hand and the check-in process completed, it'll be a matter of minutes between the curb and ship. And as I've mentioned before, once on board, gone is the long and drawn out lengthy muster process. Guests will, in their own time on boarding day, watch a muster drill using their phone or stateroom TV, and simply report to their muster location on board to check their name off with a crew member. By removing traditional guest bottlenecks, Ocean Medallion allows Princess to meet social distance protocols and at least in my opinion, enhance the onboard guest experience at the same time. Well before COVID, I remember learning about Ocean Medallion and being excited about the rollout of this incredible technology. And only a few years later and living in a world that looks very different to the way it did one year ago, the application of this type of technology is more important than anyone could have imagined. Ocean Medallion will be available on board all Princess ships when they return to service, meaning that all guests will have the same experience. 
The medallion comes with a range of semi-fashionable accessories that can be purchased on board to allow you to wear it around your neck or wrist for added convenience. So tell me, what do you think about Princess's technology? I know that it's definitely a change for those that love cruising, but I do think that it will enhance the guest experience on board. I think it will make things easier. I think it will make things more convenient. And more than all of that, which is something that we couldn't have foreseen in the past, I think that it allows Princess to meet all of the health and safety measures that cruise lines are so actively pursuing. Well, let me know what you think either way. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't checked out some of my other ones, please do. I have some ship tours and things available as well. If you'd like any more information about cruising, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguy.com.au and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at thecruiseandtravelguy. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. All cruise lines have created a comprehensive health and safety plan to return to the sea. Nope. That all cruise lines have created comprehensive plans to navigate healthy and safe cruising. And this is where I think Princess Cruise Lines. And this is where I think Princess of the Cruise Line. Damn it. And this is where I think Princess are the cruise line best. Damn it.